Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to download and install the latest Windows 10 Creators build. So they're going by this year's update or this quarter's update as the April 2018 update. So this has been delayed for a couple weeks and I believe it was released through the mainstream or normal release channels in the prior week so I wanted to make a brief video to show you guys how to download and install this update so there's a lot of really neat features that are included such as the task view has been updated um, sharing URL files between PCs using Bluetooth there has been revamped design features for the Microsoft Store as well and Microsoft Edge has changed a bit as well as a whole bunch of other little tweaks that you can read about on your own accord but I just wanted to show you guys how to download and install it. So there's a couple different ways to do it. You're more than welcome to go through Windows Update and go download and install it that way. However, it's kind of not the most direct path in my opinion. I usually prefer to download major build updates going online through Microsoft's website. So that's what we're going to do in this tutorial here. So I'm actually going to just open up a web browser. and we're going to navigate over to Google here. We just want to open it up. You can go through Windows Update, however, I notice, especially with these bigger updates, sometimes it's better just to go on to Microsoft's website and get it from there direct. So another benefit is if you have multiple computers that are running Windows 10, you just pop in the DVD with the update, so if you want to burn it to a DVD, and you can boot your other computers from that DVD or USB flash drive, whatever you prefer and then you have multiple copies or instances of the Windows 10 Spring Creators update so you don't have to go and download it for every individual computer so in that sense it could be a little bit faster for some but into Google we're going to type in Windows 10 Media Creation Tool now this is going to sound kind of familiar if you've watched other videos before however I do find that going through Microsoft's website to download the disk image which is the first link on my Google search result it's definitely very convenient just going right through Microsoft because they always have the most updated version usually on their website here. So you can see that it says Windows 10 April 2018 update now available. The update assistant can help you update to the latest version of Windows 10. And you can also select create Windows 10 installation media as well. Personally, I wasn't necessarily expecting it to say update now right here. Now in a couple weeks, there might not be this area up here. It might just say download tool now. You're more than welcome to just download the tool now. You're going to pretty much achieve the same result. But for the purpose of this video and how it's very conveniently laid out on this website, I'm just going to select the Update Now button up here at the top. So it is going to download an executable. It's only about 6 megabytes, the initial installer, so it's not that big, at least just to get the installer running. You want to make sure it's a verified publisher as always, Microsoft Corporation, and I'm going to just left click on yes to open up the prompts here. So we're going to get a prompt. If you are running Windows 10, which I'm assuming most of you guys are going to be just updating your current computer, if you're going to be updating other computers, you'd probably be better off selecting download tool now, and then you can just do it and run it from other computers as well. But if you're going to be uploading just this personal computer, it's probably fine just selecting the update button, the first one that I clicked on to open up this page. So it says update to the latest version of Windows 10. One of the best features of Windows 10 that it keeps getting better with every update. This PC is currently not running the latest and most secure version of Windows 10. It'll tell you whatever your version number is, and then it'll tell you the latest version number. And you can see it goes by quarters here. So you can see it has the last build that I'm running is 1709, so September 2017. And the latest version at the time of this recording is 1803, so March 18. Even though, like I said earlier in the video, this was a delayed update. So would explain why it still says 03 even though it is like an April update and I'm updating in May so you can kind of figure that one out so I'm going to just left click on the update now button at the bottom of the screen it should hopefully say the PC is compatible I mean if you're currently running Windows 10 you would imagine it should work and then it says start download in It'll be a little countdown clock or you could just click next just to skip over that process this will take some time just be patient and once we get to some further prompts and we get through some more of the customization options, I will be back.
Hello everyone, I'm back. So it looks like we have updated to the latest version of Windows 10. So I do have this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial.